In this example, we have a speech signal that appears to be band limited to 10 kilohertz. So that's your 10 kilohertz, the upper frequency. But then it passes through a low pass filter that further band limits it to 3 kilohertz. So everything above 3 kilohertz is removed. And the question is, what's a suitable sampling frequency? So if we look in the frequency domain, after passing through the low pass filter, a lot of the signal is going to be removed. So the pass band of the low pass filter will keep everything from 0 to 3 kilohertz. So this all stays within the pass band. This is allowed to pass. This is what actually goes forward to the digitizer. So this is our 3 kilohertz. But everything above that, so everything in yellow here, this is all removed by the filter. So that all gets removed. It's filtered out. So the actual signal that we're interested in, the signal that goes into the sampler and the digitizer, is band limited to 3 kilohertz. So this is what we actually sample. So the question is, what's a suitable sampling frequency? Well, sampling frequency is going to be um, at least twice the upper frequency there. So the sample frequency, or the Nyquist frequency, will be 2 times um, 3 kilohertz, which is 6 kilohertz. And the sample frequency will have to be greater than or equal the Nyquist frequency. So it could be, for example, 7 kilohertz. Ten kilohertz, twelve kilohertz. It could be anything in that region. It needs to be greater than or equal to the Nyquist rate of six kilohertz. So a low pass filter has allowed us to use a much lower sample frequency than we would if we didn't have the low pass filter.